late. And sorry for like the hair and makeup mess. So I woke up super late today and didn't really have time to get ready and cute. So <laughs> anyways, but yeah, today is my 33 weeks. Um, I got my little app out so I can tell you kind of what's going on. Um, from last week, the back pain has stuck around and just the regular surges. Um, I've I've noticed, uh, we watched our uh, hypnobirthing video last night and it was cool because she actually gave some like great pointers for like lower back pain um, and a lot of them is like leaning leaning over things um, which I was would think like no that's gonna hurt my back even more so I've always like slumped back and it's actually like agitated it and so today like I've been leaning more like forward and leaning on stuff and it's actually really helped with the lower back pain. So if you're having lower back pain or you're not that far along in your pregnancy yet, try that um, when you do get that far, if you're far now where you do have back pain. Um, it was like you could try birth balls, sitting and rolling on them um, or like turning chairs around. So like the back side is in front of you and you can lean on that. Um, that's been really helpful. Um, so yeah, so that those two things have stuck around um, but let me show you what my app says so my app says um, baby is approximately size of a honeydew melon what was that anyways a honeydew melon and she is from like 19 inches um, around there and then a raise around four and a half pounds so and it says she should be getting like I think a pound or half a pound a week. I'll look it up. Anyways, but I have seven weeks left. Um, so that's fun. And then let's look. Baby and body. Okay, so yeah, so here's the cool little picture it shows. And it says, okay, so it says your baby may be wear, like weighing or measuring between 16 and 17 inches, just depending, you know, each baby's different. Um, she still, she weighs more than four and a half and a quarter pounds. So, okay, so she's gaining about a half pound a week. So I was right. Let's see, weight gain can range from third more to, okay. Anyway, that's a lot, half pound a week for a little baby. Like, if you think about it, that's a lot. So anyways, so that's what it says. Um, <clears throat> it says, oh yeah, like beforehand, when like you're a lot earlier in your pregnancy, your baby has a lot more cushion because of just like the uh, fluids and it, they're still pretty small. But now that she's actually really big, um, the her she has max not maxed out, but like she's covered more of the uterus than like the liquids are, and so. Um, she's not as cushioned anymore, so it's always definitely take like more precaution, especially like later on the trimester, just because she is getting like you are so much bigger that you don't have like as much cushion anymore to protect from like any outside like bumps or hits or anything. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, she says like that's why in the app it says that's why like some of your pokes or jabs are a little more sharp just because they are so much bigger. Like I've noticed. Because she is sitting, like, I don't know if you can see, but, so her head, let me show you. So her head is down here, and then her back, and then her feet, and I have noticed that she has been really good at kicking my ribs. <laughs> like, I'll feel this small, like, jab, kind of, when she kicks, like, right underneath my ribs, and it kind of hurts sometimes, it's more just like, a really weird feeling like something just like kicked your ribs like that's kind of weird anyways so um they say the baby um, can tell the difference between day and night they said um let's see your feet is acting more like a baby okay so their eyes let's see while they're closing their sleep oh yeah okay so they're saying because of the the uterine walls are getting thinner to them they can perceive light a lot better so if it's light outside or like there's light shining on your stomach they're more likely to open their eyes and be awake 
And then if it's dark and covered, then they're more likely to close their eyes. So um, that's kind of cool. Like maybe, I don't know if you could, but maybe you could like start sleep training now. But like I've noticed when there's a direct sun on my stomach just from being outside, she's a lot more active compared when I'm inside and there's not a lot of um, sun or light on my stomach. She's a lot less active. Um, and then the big, one of the big things that's actually happening this week or this week is that, um, her, she is now, let's see, oh yeah, she has, she now has her own immune system. So like, you know, before, like I'm her immune system, I'm what protects her, but now that she's this far along, um, now that when she's born, she will have her own immune system in place to be able to fight off any bacteria or any like sicknesses. So that's kind of cool. So it says, um, yeah, it comes in handy when she's outside the womb. But that's like one of the biggest developments. Like each week, um, they give you like a big like, oh, this is what like happened. This is what big that's happened this week. So this week it's that she developed her own immune system. So that's as far as the baby goes, as far as Bobby goes. And then for me, it says that um, just the hormones that change, um, leg cramps, heartburn, a lot more bathroom runs, which I have noticed I've actually really missed because like midway, like yeah, midway through my second into the very like probably around like 29, 30 weeks. It was so nice. I did not have to use a restroom that night like I used to in the very beginning. But now, because she's head down, she sits on my bladder now. And, like, so, like, barely any fluid is, like, hours of not using the restroom. Sorry, the thing says it's remaining. Anyways, so, we'll have to hurry up because his iPod's dying. <laughs> anyway, so using the restroom a lot more. Um, insomnia, you can get that. Um, let's see. So they say try try a warm bath. Um, avoid, instead of avoid exercising, which is interesting. Oh, probably like at night. Like don't exercise a lot at night. Um, let's see. Yeah, so try, it says try a warm bath. Oh, I got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so I'll have to try that. I'll have to try a warm back or warm bath for my back. So anyways, that's what I've noticed. I have had a, I've had a little harder time sleeping at night. Not just, not because I'm uncomfy, but I cannot only last so long on my sides. And so it's more the uncomfort and discomfort comes from when I'm rolling from side to side because she's getting so much bigger and there's so much more like stomach there. It like, if I twist weird, it like really hurts. Um, so I've been trying to work like not twisting and like both just like, kind of just rolling over a lot easier like trying to it's been a little harder because anyways but yeah so <laughs> that's that's what I have noticed um I I don't have as much insomnia or like I'm not really awake I mean I have times if I have to get up in the middle of the night and use the restroom and I come back to bed like my brain is just like go 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 and I'm like oh my gosh stop thinking like go to sleep so usually when I come back from using the restroom it takes me like maybe 30 minutes to an hour to fall back to sleep but so that's what I've noticed um back pain is just the same surges that I'm getting um I'm gonna have to try that warm bath idea that's a great idea but yeah so like I said earlier if your lower back's hurting try like leaning Forwards on stuff that's really helped. Or well, they said like the the yoga pose, the cat cow, where you arch your spine and then fl like flatten it, kind of. They said that helps backs as well. So, anyways, that's that's my 33 week pregnancy update. I have my 34 week doctor's appointment next week and my one of my last my last baby shower on Friday. So I'm super excited. I'm excited to see the stuff that she gets. But baby's doing great. I'm doing great. I'm just a little tired, but you know, it's towards the end of pregnancy. I'm like a month and a half left. So <laughs> I'm really on the downhill slope. So I'm getting really excited. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some things that maybe can help you in, you know, later on in your pregnancy or if you're here, like what can help you. So that's my tips. That's my update and I hope you enjoyed it and hope you have an awesome day. Oh, and 
Make sure you subscribe so you can check up on what we're doing, our pregnancy updates, and anything fun going on. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. I'll have the link somewhere on here. And do that and have an awesome day. Thanks, guys.